Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. The Majestic Pines Fine Art Festival takes place usually the second or third weekend of July. July is Art Month in Nisswa. There's a Lakes Area Art Show um, that happens in the community center every weekend that uh, showcases some of our local artists. And then the Majestic Pines Fine Art Festival is like the jewel of that whole month of art shows. And that's usually July 16, 17, you know, kind of in that weekend. It was started back in the late 90s after a craft show had gone on for a number of years. And George Holton, he was a store owner and a, a very avid um, art lover. And he wanted to develop an art show that invited some fine art and some fine craftsmanship to our area and, and get our local artists out there and shown to the community. And so George Holton, and as a matter of fact, I was around back then too in the late 90s, and we put together along with a lot of volunteers and some great people. Um, the Nisswa Chamber of Commerce, of course, is the, is the um, host really of the show in Nisswa. And uh, the Majestic Pines Art Festival originated here. It was a two-day show. And we had over 120 artists, and there must have been, you know, upwards of 5,000 shoppers in that um, era. Um, so as time went by and as the uh, community in Nisswa changed, the show has been to different venues. Uh, for example, it was downtown Nisswa at one time, kind of spread out. Um, it was across the street at the uh, Pioneer Village for a time. And uh, the artists just liked to be together, and they liked to be in a park setting like this. So. We wanted to kind of bring it back here, bring it back home, invite some of our fine artists, our fine crafters, and we've put it up a level. And uh, we're really excited about the quality of the work that's here this year. And the artists are very excited to have some of their peers here with them. So the Majestic Pines Fine Art Festival, it's not a new thing. It's been around for a while, but maybe this level of artistry is a little bit new. The artists here are selected on a jury basis. We have over 600 artists who submit applications and they're from all over, pretty much a five state area. And when they submit an application, they have to send in their photos. And so these jurists, they review the pictures and then we have criteria that we follow that we choose to pick um, the specific artists and then we send them an acceptance package that they can come and join us here at the Majestic Pines Fine Art Festival. Once the artists are set up, on the very first morning, there's a group of judges. They go from booth to booth, they communicate with the artist, they are in the booth and they talk about the pieces um, individually. We have the Best of Show Award today with Cyrus Swan. Uh, Best of Show is a complete overall um, award for artistry and craftsmanship. So he won, he picked one piece of his work and the judges took look, a look at that one piece and then he won Best of Show, Cyrus won. Well, I'm really honored to receive this award. I've been doing this show since I was in high school. And it was how I got discovered by Jerry Radicke, the guy who I have the booth with. I've been in his gallery for years and it was all because of this show. It was way back. I don't know how many years ago it was. This is the piece that I won with. Um, it's kind of a signature style of bottles that I do. They're Based, it's kind of a concept piece. They're based on the idea of rhythm and repetition that goes along with making and production pottery. And it's supposed to speak that. I call them bottle clusters. But the quality of work this year is phenomenal, I have to say. I'm really honored because the work is so good. I've had a chance to walk around. There's great work here. It's a quality, real art show. And then there is the Award of Excellence for Artistry and the Award of Excellence for Craftsmanship. And again, the artistry is that conceptual, that wow factor, um, the emotion of the artist and what the work that they put into it. And then also craftsmanship is, is the same way, however, it's looking more at the medium they use and what it took to actually create that medium and that piece. This majestic fine art show is great because they jury out and just have the best of the best here. So it really brings the better quality customer to the show. And it's great for the people because it's all the best of what you can buy. The piece here is, is a double moose horn from Maine. Both shed antlers put together, um, carved. It's, I think, number 1006 carving for me. I did it about two weeks ago. and. Uh, it's just a nice, nice piece. 
They've really begun to turn this into a good show. I'm really happy with what they're doing and for the fact that they're turning it from a, a craft type show into more fine arts. And I think we need more fine arts going on in this area. It, uh, it gives us a much better venue, all of the artists that are here, as opposed to just the knickknacks that you see at a lot of shows. There's a lot of fine art going on here. They have a really serious group of judges that go around. They're doing a heck of a job looking at everything, going in all the booths, talking to the artists, getting a feel for the artist's passion. I'm really happy with what this show is starting to turn into myself. Yeah, the festival is a great festival. It's one of the best ones that I do. Um, it's fun to come up here. I've had a, a relationship with Niswa for many years. And I used to do the show once in a while back when, when it was going back then. And it's changed quite a bit. It's really, the people that are doing the show are really working hard to make it a fine arts festival and um, really bring some talented people here with a lot of different things. So that's, that makes it more worthwhile. And, and I've been appreciated for the work that I've done here. What we want to do is keep the level of artistry and the level of craftsmanship to a higher echelon. We want to invite some uh, amazing artists to the community center here in Nisswa to show their, showcase their artistry. But it does take us a long time uh, to put this together, to really get a feel for this and to put all this together and to bring this kind of quality art to Nisswa. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4th, 2008.